This is another very interesting place. This is a view of the National Mall. So basically the National Mall goes from here all the way down to Virginia. And as you can see, I am showing you there the Abe Lincoln Memorial, which is behind this huge tower, which is the National Monument. And then in the other side, there's basically Roslyn, which is in Arlington, Virginia. So I'm currently staying in Fairfax. This is Arlington. This is where a lot of my relatives live, and I used to come here to, into a lot. I used to come here in, when I was a kid to spend a lot of Christmases with my relatives. So it has like this emotional, hang on. This, this emotional um, importance. So this is all Smithsonian. All of this is Smithsonian. The side as well is Smithsonian. All these buildings. As, as the story goes, and this is um, basically the knowledge I had back then, is that John Smithson, S Smithson was relatively wealthy. He never really had kids. So he decided to donate a lot of his wealth to create a place where people could learn about everything about the world, or so, or so the quote goes. Um, I used to know a lot about, uh, remember all these quotes, but now I kind of forgot them because I haven't been guided for a while. Interesting, what is one of the Smithsonian's is actually a castle. I used to come here as a, as a kid. My dad always used to take me to this, to the National, the National, the Natural History Museum. And also during, when I used to live here, when I used to live here, there was um, a lot of Ultimate Frisbee games in this, in this huge area. So there, over there, there's the, um, the Capitol building. So I have, I have a clip of me talking in the Capitol building when I was actually guiding. So there you see the Capitol building. There's the, um, it had, that statue on the top was actually shipped all the way from Rome, I believe. And then this building has been, has been slowly built through many different um, times. So basically on one side you see the, the house, the other side is the Senate. 100 versus I think 365, but I, I actually do not remember exactly the the um, the, uh, the amount. And uh, inside you do there's like the, the, a lot of the bills are passed or not passed, so there's the the decision about which the legislation is going to take place, and this is really where. Um, if you if you are from Idaho, you'll have one senator, but in relation to your population, you'll have more House representatives. So basically, Idaho will probably have one and one or something like that. But a place like California will have one senator and then many House representatives. So it's just one is um, one only has one, and the other one has. You have two House representatives because there's a hundred when it's proportional to the size of the state. Um, further back, there's the Library of Congress, which is really created by Thomas Jefferson in his huge collection. And I talk a little bit about this, about Thomas Jefferson's contribution, including the Louisiana Purchase. He actually did several other... other other major um, contributions to American history, to the U.S. history. So here's one of the buildings. This is, um, I think this is the Native American Museum. Interesting story about the Native Americans. And I'm going to start moving in this direction. So there you can see a lot, of, you can hear a lot of starlings in the back. So this is really Star European starlings are basically introduced from Europe, as the name claims. But I just saw there you can see house dove, house doves. 
about any of them. And then I saw American Robins, which are not introduced and they're very conspicuous at this time of year. They're about to start cooking. So, so basically, if you go in that direction, if you go in, the, in that direction, there is the White House. So, as, as the, um, the, this, this is really after the French Revolution, the whole idea of checks and balances and then representation. And um, I, I want to say Rousseau or Locke, but those are some of the main political theorists. The whole idea about having different branches of power, not everything concentrated in a monarch. And a lot of people want to say that the United States is the representation of how this has impl been implemented and then it has been extrapolated to many different countries around the world. So right behind this huge building is there is the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court is basically the judiciary. I believe that if you work as a lawyer in the Supreme Court, you probably are going to make 300000 a year. And those buildings over there are also relevant. And in that direction, there's the um, Union Station, which is quite interesting and amusing. So he, I believe here is, when I, he, the statue here is associated with the Civil War, and I want to say that this is, I believe Adam Grant looking into, Ulysses Grant looking in, into, um, Abe Lincoln in the background. So this is Adam Grant, um, Ulysses Grant. This is the, the commander of the of the Union against the Confederacy during the during the. <clears throat> Civil War, and the Confederate general, I believe he was actually very, very good as, as well. It, it is um, the Arlington, Arlington Cemetery also is well known for having major influence during the Civil War. So basically, it was basically, I believe, owned by a confederate, but then Washington D.C. seized it, and then eventually became a cemetery. And they used a tactic about if he did not, if 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 he wouldn't. So basically, the Potomac divided the Confederacy and the Union, and if the owner of the cemetery would not come and pay his taxes then the land would be seized by the government. That's kind of like what they used. And I believe this is the herbarium. Behind it, there's more government bu buildings. There's this really um, state, or I, I believe these are more, um, th these are more senator or house representative buildings. And there's a lot of receptions that are held here. So this is actually, a huge, uh, a, a fun place to come. And then a lot of people that work, a lot of lobbyists and a lot of people who work in Congress usually go to the end of this road. And I've, I, I not necessarily remember the name of it, but they go to a lot of bars and it's like a thriving place because it's like, full of interns. Like if you're interning here, it's like a big deal. And I remember I met several of the interns. So there's more tourist buildings and you can see here like the full coloration. And when Congress is in session, you can see the lights during the night or the, um, or the flags being 
being um, up as they are. There's a there's a better word, but I forgot about it. So there's this statue that I was saying about Ulysses Grant on his horse facing Abe Lincoln all the way over there since he was one of his generals. All the way in the back. And if you look at Washington DC, basically you have the National Mall, the Smithsonian's, and all these buildings over there, all these buildings over there are basically government buildings. So this is, I, I talked about this a little bit before, there's a three-tier government, city, state, and federal, so federal is really at the end. Um, you can see this, this, um, bus that's coming this is usually how the tours are so there's basically old town trolley there's like a driver and he's the guy he's probably talking right now As you can see it's not very full because it's not the big season And um, if you go inside, it's quite interesting because at the bottom of the of the main um, structure, there are all these paintings that are actually really interesting to see. So as I, I used to guide like five years ago, so I really have have to um, polish a lot of my memory. But I believe this is an interesting figure that I'm going to show you right here. So this is again the statue of Ulysses Grant. You can see he's riding his horse and facing this direction. You can see there the the um the flags and here's James Garfield. And I think he was known for something. I think maybe he was shot, but I have to, have to as, as, I, as I mentioned before, I have to freshen my memory. This is one of my favorite statues and I'm not gonna go over there and show you, but this is Lady America Criding in the Shoulder of History. Two statues. This really means This really means um, the pain that was suffered during the Civil War since the Civil War had a lot more casualties than the American Revolution. And I, I, I think it's comparable to World War II, but I have to double check, but there were both like the major catastrophic events in US history. So here you can see a lot of the trees. I believe this is birch. And this is in the Betulase family. This is really, um, so in in the tropics we have Alnus, which is also found here, but it, it's called alder. So this is Betus, the genus. You can just distinguish it by the, by the, um, by the bark that's peeling. And then I believe that's a, that's a, um, this tree here, 
I want to say as a maple. I put to double check. So we're moving in this direction. Again, we're going to the side. Here you can see the nice gardens of the Capitol building. And these are all like, um, these are all legislative buildings. They, as, as the Capitol building grew, a lot of people move into those buildings. And there, sometimes there's, it's a lot easier to host an event there because it's not right in the middle of where everything is. So this is the Capitol building that got stormed some time ago. It was like a major event in US history. And in the back, I'm gonna show you the Library of Congress, which is also a really interesting building. You can see DC, there's DC buses running up and down. And this is the herbarium. You can see there the building And this. Again, these are the federal buildings. Very nice, clear day. And in the back, the Natural History Museum, the Smithsonian. So everything is tied. There's the, the National Monument. So, So there in the back, there's the Library of Congress. This is allegedly one of the largest book collections in the world. And as the story goes, um, Thomas Jefferson's, with Thomas Jefferson's personal collection. But then he decided to donate it to the government. And I really do not know what happened during the War of 1812, 1814, but it could have been burned down. So these are nice views of the Capitol building. There's a house, American Robin. So I remember when I first come to, came to the city 10 years ago, it was very exciting because I could just interact with a lot of the political structures and the political body of the United States. And I had just studied public policy in two universities. So Nancy Pelosi was actually given a talk here. It was just very um, exciting to see a talk by Nancy Pelosi. I, I believe these are magnolia. So this is a magnolia CE. These are coniferous trees. So here, the magnolias. And this is another side of the Capitol building. You see on the top, the, stat the statue. 
It's a huge statue, it's like really interesting. I think it's, the statue is called Freedom. So these are some good views of the American flag. So here's another good place. Here is the Supreme Court in the back, as you can see it. The Capitol building from the side, and then the Library of Congress in the back. And this street just has a lot of people that come here. Um, I'm not 100% sure that's the Supreme Court, but I am almost think that it is.